Hey guys, Cody Broderick here with In What Language. Today on Warriors of International Business, I have the privilege of speaking with James Guthrie. He's the founder of Guthrie Tax Advisory. You can find them at guthrie-tax.com and they specialize in international tax consultation. He's really a go-to guy for companies here in Utah looking to expand and maximize their international tax benefits. So let's spend some time with him now and talk about some of his international business experiences. James, thank you very much for your time today. I'm very excited to uh, visit with you. Thanks, Cody. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Okay, first question. What's the greatest challenge you're facing with international business? The challenge that I face is staying current with all of the tax law changes around the world, not only here at home, but abroad in the foreign countries. And the challenge for me is to meet with my clients and explain to them how these changes impact their business and their ability to do business and keep profits inside the business rather than pay them away to taxes. The economic situation of today is also a challenge because companies want to know, they want to have some certainty. How much tax am I going to pay? Am I going to have this deduction in the future? Are my tax rates going to go up? And with the current environment, there's a lot of uncertainty. Is the government going to increase rates? There's a lot of talk of reducing the rates here in the United States, but if we reduce those rates, certain benefits that we've been enjoying for a long time are possibly going to disappear. So what is that going to, what impact is that going to have on my business? So what are you doing at Guthrie Tax Advisory to overcome those challenges? The one thing that I can do at Guthrie Tax Advisory is stay current with these changes and inform my clients of the changes that I think impact their business so that we can have a discussion and discover whether these changes will require a change in strategy, a change in legal structure, a change in operating structure. Maybe there's a change in how they move their money around the world and how soon they repatriate money from overseas back to the home office. So in your own words, what's the best tip that you can provide to any organization that's going global now? The three best tips would be to understand who you are, set a plan, execute the plan, and review it on a regular basis. When I meet with companies that are going global and getting involved in international business, one of the first things that I do is I have a discussion with them to discover what their objectives are from a global business perspective. Do they want to be a U.S. company with a small footprint overseas? Do they want to be a U.S. company with a large permanent footprint overseas? Do they want all their money in the United States, or can they leave money offshore to grow their offshore business? Once we define the objectives of the business, where the cash is needed, where the operations will be, where people will be seated, then we can start focusing on the types of legal entities that the company needs. Maybe a legal entity is needed in a country, but maybe not. And, it, and then once we decide the legal entity and where people will be, we can determine whether they will incur tax in a country that they're interested in doing business. There's a lot of opportunities to do business in foreign countries without incurring tax in that country and, and keep the tax simple and just be a U.S. taxpayer. But there are certain activities that you engage in that make it so that you pay tax in a foreign country as well. And now the question is, when I pay tax in the foreign country, will I pay double tax by paying tax in the United States on the same income? And are there strategies that we can implement to mitigate double taxation and reduce that global tax rate? 